Here I have two of the best spiral down cut bits for the CNC. A lot of it says that the coatings are superior, it's gonna last longer, they're stronger, they're just all around better. Right here is the Amana version of a down cut quarter inch spiral bit. And then here is Cadence Manufacturing's Downtown Jenny, which is also a quarter inch spiral down cut bit. Now, this one you can easily order off of Amazon. This one was made custom by a guy in the CNC community because he wanted something a little bit different. Between the two of these, one of them has to win. The Amana is $40, the Jenny, $35. Let's see which one's better. These are the reason that I started thinking about this test in the first place. Now, I can cut out about 40 of them with the Amana bit that I have been using for the longest time, and 40 normally gets me to the point where the strands are starting to get too long and it's starting to create a few little gouges here and there where I feel like I need to buy another bit. Now, with a $40 bit, making 40 trays, that is a dollar per tray that I'm actually using for tooling cost. Now, if I can get that tooling cost down, that's more profit in my pocket, so I figured I might as well go ahead and look around. So, when trying to broaden my horizons, uh, I started looking around and found that a lot of people were using these Ginny type of bits. And I figured, hey, I might as well just go ahead and contact this guy, understand a little bit more about it, and then I can start the test. So, thankfully, uh, me and Cody had a very long conversation where he said a lot of very smart things about geometry and lubricity and all kinds of stuff that honestly goes right over my head, and I just straight up said, hey, is this better? You know, is this better than the Amana bit that I'm currently using? Uh, Cody's a very humble man, and he said that he would hope to think so, but he'll be more than happy to send over a bit for testing. So that's what I have here, a bit for testing. We're gonna test it out against a brand new Amana bit. We're gonna cut out a few trays. We're gonna have them side by side, see the differences in the finish that it leaves straight off the CNC, no kind of messing with them whatsoever. And we're just gonna see which bit's better? So I can already hear you typing away down in the comments about that I need to use the manufacturer's recommended speeds and feeds in order to get the longevity out of the bit that the manufacturer says it can achieve. Now, that all sounds well and good, but I don't think that that is a direct comparison for my use case. So I'm not here to prove which bit can last 100 years. I'm here to prove which bit can last as long as possible through what I need the bit to do. In this test, I'm going to be cutting out nine of these with each of those bits, and then three of these with each of those bits, and then we're gonna look at them side by side and just say, which one's better? a P.O. box. It's linked down in the description. If you want to send me a sticker, send one right over and I'll put it on the toolbox. And out of all of those, I went ahead and pulled out these. So it is the first and last of the topo trays for both the Amana and the Jenny bits. We'll get into the close-ups in a second. So for these Badlands trays, I have the first and last both situated on the same tray, if that makes any kind of sense. So I labeled that as 10 and 18 as far as which pockets were cut. I know that's all very confusing. I should have gotten some footage of it, but honestly, I was busy in the shop doing other things and I just forgot. So let's jump right into it. All right, so first up, this is the Amana bit, and this is the very first cut that it made. And honestly, this is kind of what you would expect from a brand new $40 bit. Uh, you've got a few little strands right here, but honestly, those are nothing. I've not touched up these at all, but a brash brush just lightly against that would knock those off. And you see a few frays up top right here where I did a pocket where I put my brass coins. Other than that, though, I mean, this is great. Perfectly what you would expect. All right, so this is the Ginny bit for its first cut. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit cleaner than the Amana bit, but like I said, you know, a brash brush cleans up most of those things, but it doesn't have any kind of fraying up here, and it does have one little spot of fraying right here, which honestly kind of just came off just because I pushed it. And like I said, what you would expect for a brand new bit. So those are the first for both of those trays. So this is the ninth with the Amana bit and the last for these small topo trays. Now you can see a little bit of fraying here. Uh, like I said earlier, a lot of this can come off with a brash brush, but it's a lot more than that first one that you just saw. There's a little bit of fraying up here as well. And then on these walls, you start to see a little bit more fraying as well. 
Now on to the Genie bit for its ninth tray. You can see that it does have more fraying than it had on the first one, but honestly not as much as the Amana does. That was quite the surprise for me when I first pulled these out to see that, yeah, there's definitely frays and maybe a similar amount to the Amana, but I think actually less. Uh, as you can see, this coin pocket up top is still nice and clean. And then these steps do have a little bit of fraying, but not as much as what the Amana had. All right, then on for the Badlands trays. Now this is the first one that it approached, but after all nine of the other trays, and you can see that it does still have a little bit of fraying. Honestly, nothing that I would be complaining about. A lot of that just sandblast off because that is how I finish a lot of my trays. But as you can see, there's a little bit of chatter on the edges and honestly, that sandblast away, that is nothing too bad like the other one that I showed y'all previously. But that's the first one for the Badlands. This is the first Badlands tray for the Jenny bit and you can see that it does have a little bit of fraying but not as much as the Amana had, which strangely enough, I really did not expect that. But it's still producing clean stuff, like I said with the Amana as well. Both of them are completely usable for the projects that I have in mind and I would be sandblasting them anyways, and none of this is too much to sandblast away. And this is the very last cut for the Amana bit. Uh, this is the 18th relief that is actually cut out in this test. And you can see, once again, a few little strands here and there. You can see on the walls, there is a little bit of chatter. Like I said before, nothing too much that at this point I would say is not usable for a project with the sandblasting that I have in mind. And now this is the last pocket that was cut with the Jenny. As you can see, there's still a little bit of fraying, but not as much as what the Amana had. And like I've said multiple times at this point, both of them are completely acceptable for what I use for when I'm sandblasting. So, as you can see, there's still a little bit of chatter on the walls, just like the last one, but honestly not as much as the Amana was. But both are perfectly fine. When I originally got in touch with Cody, I fully was just expecting to try this bit out and understand that it was just remarkably similar to the Amana. I didn't foresee that it was going to be slightly better than the Amana. That slightly better translates to me saving money for my projects long term here in this shop. So when I told him that it was doing slightly better, he himself was very pleased to find out. I asked him if we could get a 10% off code and he said specifically for these downtown Jenny bits that he would provide 10% off. You can use the link in the description, type in Hamilton, and that is going to give you 10% off. I don't make any money off of this whatsoever. Cody is just a really cool guy in the CNC community. You can check him out on his Facebook. I'll have that link down below as well if you're looking for more information on these Jenny bits and what specifically sets them aside from the competition. Now, I know I didn't get into a lot of the technical specs because I'm not really that technical of a person. I set out to understand which one of these two bits is going to help me save the most money in my shop for my use case. It might not be the same for you, and I think that is perfectly fine. But I know for me, in my shop, this is the Amana Killer.